so powerful. Let me tell you, it's so powerful. I'm telling you guys, powerful, powerful. <laughs>
so powerful. Okay. Then they mention someone, verse 36, Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement, sold the field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. Let's stop there. Let's not move to chapter 5 where Ananias and Sapphira, and that's another story. I just like this part. Okay? So first of all, believers are united in one heart, it says, and with one mind. So that's unity there. Okay? And the power of God is flowing. How do I know? It says the apostles still testified about the resurrection of Jesus Christ with power. Amazing stuff. Then we read, no one was in need. There was no need. Every need was fulfilled. Why? Because they were sharing their possessions. So people were not attached to their possessions. That's another principle to take home, right? Very powerful. But next one, which is another principle which the church doesn't talk much. I dare say, why? Because it's uncensored truth. I'm not a pastor, so I just say it. They sold the lands, they sold the houses, they brought back the profits, and they put it at the apostles' feet. Oh, now I know, I know some of you will say, hey, come on, come on, Fiket, let's be realistic. Maybe because this was so many years ago. Okay, fine. Many years ago. Don't tell me they don't have some containers of any form. Whether it's a wooden, whether it's some sex or whatever, to put the money inside the containers or inside a bag or somewhere inside a sack cloth somewhere and bring it nicely or lightly to the apostle. Or in front of the altar, wherever the place they are gathering is. No, I think it's a spiritual principle. It's it's a total surrender to the apostleship they were under. If you know what that means, right? So they bring everything and put it at the apostles' feet. In other words, it's like telling apostle, we surrender everything. Now everything, it's up to you. What do you want to do with this? That's it. After all, this is money. We put it at your feet. That's very powerful. Sometimes we treat offerings and, and the money given in offerings like so precious, so carefully as if it's like, you know. No, no, no. They just throw it at the apostle's feet. Bam! Take it. Use it for the kingdom apostle. Very powerful. And that is the reason people were not living in any form of lack. There was no lack, the Bible says. They're not living in any need. There was no need, right? No, I mean, that's what it says. That's what it says. There were no needy persons among them. That's the early church. I know everyone focuses on the persecution and the sufferings of the early church and no one talks about this part. How about this part? How about this part? No needy persons among them. That's so powerful, man. So powerful. Okay? Brought the money from the cells and put it at the apostles' feet. And it was distributed to anyone as he had need. Now you understand the process. Money come, whatever, collected from the sales of the lands and the houses, go to the apostles' feet, then they identify, okay, this brother or sister has a need, or this widow has a need, or what, so let's fulfill that need. My goodness. Powerful principle. That's partnering with the gospel. Putting everything at the apostles' feet. Okay? The sad part about my wife and I, when we became Christians, if we could have, I mean, let's be honest, I talk like this because I can relate, because I was in that position before. I used to go to certain churches, and when they go a bit overboard with the money part, with the tithes and offering part, I'll be like, no, 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 this, this, this is not the church. 
they're all looking for the money. <clears throat> why? Why was I was why I was thinking like that is because I didn't know Bible. I didn't know the truth. Jesus said it perfectly. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So while I'm reading book of Acts chapter 4 from verse 32 to verse 37, I hope now you are more open to the idea of sowing and reaping in the kingdom of God. It's powerful and it works. Okay? You see, there are so many principles just in these verses. They share everything, so these guys are not attached to their lands and houses even. That's one. But second thing is, they put everything at the apostles' feet. That's the early church. I think I, I might call this video, putting everything at the apostles' feet. Maybe people will become curious, what is that? Maybe that's why you are watching this. So I pray you'll be blessed by this, guys. Uh, if you first time you're watching video, uh, this is Faiket Luari speaking. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to my Uncensored Truth channel. I share a lot of things which are a bit uncensored, radical, things that you might not listen in a conventional organization out there. But hey, this is how I received my breakthrough. This is my wife received the breakthrough. Some family and friends that we know who got to know the truth, that's how they received the breakthrough. I believe that's how you're going to receive your breakthrough. Nothing watered down. Yes, under the covenant of grace, even much more under the covenant of grace, we surrender everything to God, especially in the area of money. Subscribe and be blessed.